All right, so it all started when I was in Peru at the Tambopata Research Center and I saw this. This is a butterfly hanging out with ants and normally they don't really do that. So I went back the next day and I saw this. This is multiple butterflies, all of the same species, Adelotypa and Ulifera, hanging out with these ants. And when I look closer, I realized that those butterflies were drinking from the tip of that bamboo and not letting the ants drink from there either. So the butterflies get something, but the ants don't. It's unusual, and at that point, I handed it off to Aaron. So a few months later, I made a return trip to this field site, and I was hiking along the same trail, and that's when I noticed that at the tip of the bamboo had this dead leaf, and as I pulled it back, boom, there they were the larva of this butterfly, and they were being taken care of by ants. So we then went on to complete the entire life history of this butterfly. And what's amazing is that the butterfly interacts with the ants differently at different stages. So when it's a caterpillar like you saw, the interaction with the ants is more mutual. Exactly, and we know now through our observations that multiple species take care of these caterpillars. Even the dreaded bullet ants will take that care of them. That is right, you do not want to get stung, but apparently they'll take care of those caterpillars. Now it got really interesting when you look at the adult stage, at the butterfly interaction with the ants, because it seems like the butterflies are a type of parasite called a kleptoparasite where the ants are creating a resource. They're protecting this resource at the tip of the bamboo shoot, but the butterflies go in and they steal it. And even cooler, if you look at the bottom of the butterfly wings, there are these three red circles that we think look like the ants. So we do know in the literature that there are actually thousands of species that have evolved to look just like ants. So it's not entirely unreasonable to think that this particular butterfly here in southeastern Peru looks like ants. Which would be pretty amazing because you see that at the caterpillar stage where these caterpillars kind of work with the ants in a way, but you've never, nobody's ever seen this at the butterfly stage. That depth of a, of a relationship with ants. So something interesting is definitely going on here. Um, it's exciting to have this life history published because it is the first life history for this genus of butterflies. Yeah, nobody knew what the caterpillars ever looked like and it's because nobody peeled back that little bit of bamboo like Aaron did. This is just a lesson that if you look closely, you might find something totally new and this is just the first step. There's much more work to be done here. Yeah, and this butterfly has been known for about a hundred years, but nobody knew the mystery behind it. We were excited to find it, but there's more work to be done, so uh, check back soon. Click subscribe to see more of this, 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 and even this. Hey buddy, say hi.